Today is gonna be a great day. Today we're going to Trinidad once again. This is going to be my third time visiting that city and I think it's gonna be insane. I wanna share with you how do I pack my stuff? How do I pack my, my, my bag, my gear, everything before going to any adventure? Because I think that most of you who wants to travel across the country, this video is gonna be helping you out. As you can tell my voice, my face. I'm very sleepy because it's very early in the morning, but this is the best time to do everything. I mean, the taxi will pick me up at 1 p.m. Something that I wanna be clear about is that when it comes to packing, I always recommend you to plan everything ahead so you know exactly what are the things that you're gonna be doing. And based on that, based on, on the adventure, based on the experiences, based on the activities that you're gonna be doing, that's when this packaging is gonna be much easier. And I'm gonna do another video, which is gonna be super helpful because because uh, I'm gonna be helping you to ex what a fox and I'm gonna do another video which is gonna be extremely helpful because I'm gonna explain you how you can plan your trip in 2023 so with that being said let's jump guys into this video something that I always do is before packing everything I put everything like on the bed on the floor whatever so I can see exactly what I'm gonna put inside of the bag this is something that again based on the activities based on the stuff that I'm gonna do I know exactly what I'm gonna do and at the end I would normally do a list and I like write down the stuff that I think I'm gonna need and before going to the trip I will read down that list I need this 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 and that and I will mark that's the smartest stuff that you can do because sometimes you're like oh my god what do I need what do I forgot what am I forgetting and if you don't do this at the end once you get to the place where you're gonna be staying in and then there's always something happening. In this case, what I highly recommend you to do is a list. I'm gonna be only spending four days and I know exactly the stuff that I'm gonna be doing. So pay attention. And at the end, this is nothing. I mean, there are a lot of things that I'm gonna be uh, packing, but I just wanted to share with you how you can do that. Another thing that is very important that you don't see because it's inside of this package here. This, it says GoPro, but I don't have the GoPro here. What I have here, I'll show you real quickly. This is the most important essentials. By essentials, I mean uh, one of these, one of these. I'm always carrying sunscreen because you never know. Two, um, two. One of these. I have two sunscreen and I have this jungle um, mosquito repellent which is great it is for I mean how strong it is it is extremely strong and it's very popular for these type of adventures what I see here is basically Trinidad <laughs> this is uh, hand sanitizer and some uh, napkin this is uh, I would say a face mask that I used to be using during COVID I'm not using it anymore, but just in case. The point is that you never know. So, for example, let's say that we got into the jungle because there is a lot of mosquito going on, so you can use this. I'm always prepared for everything. Something I'm gonna get is this power bank that I got for that I got from a friend of mine, which is super powerful. It's only 75 now, it's charging. And that power bank gives me like probably enough battery to charge twice my cell phone which is insane because sometimes you're on the road you don't have battery you don't know what's happening and something that i'm going to tell you this is not about packaging but something that you may know is when you're traveling inside of cuba the internet is going to be extremely extremely hard it's going to suck so what i highly recommend you is to download an offline map which is going to be helping you <sighs> what else do we have here I'm always like using the stuff that I'm gonna need. So at the end, what I'm gonna do there is exploring mo most of the time. So also something that I got is what I call the dirty clothing, which is basically like the clothing, like this pair of shoes that you're seeing right now. This is what I'm gonna use if I'm gonna do some uh, horse riding, if I'm gonna be going to the waterfalls, because I know that it's gonna be super dirty, so I don't wanna be using like my my nice shoes for doing that, all right? So the same, for example, this clothing here is a long pan. It's gonna be pretty warm, but well, this is the one that I have. And I have like a, like a sleeve and uh, it doesn't look good, but the point is I'm not gonna be looking good. I'm gonna be wearing what I need to be wearing to be comfortable 
and that's very important guys sometimes you travel and you are like worrying about hey i need to be looking good no forget about that forget about looking good focus on carrying the stuff that you're going to need and at the end you're going to be comfortable because if you're going to be for example in my case if we're going to be three hours four hours hiking and then getting a, a horse and then going to the waterfalls and then you want to swim that's what you got to be focused because if you're like going to that adventure and you're wearing gucci or you're wearing super fancy you're not going to be comfortable if you want to do crazy adventures you got to be ready for it okay even the socks these are not like really good but that's the point i also have more um uh, hand sanitizer so just in case perfume this stuff just in case um the crazy weather comes up that's another that's another tip that's another tip that i can give you guys if you're traveling to cuba always carry like different clothing for different temperatures because you don't know and the weather in cuba is crazy right now super sunny super warm and during the night it might start raining crazy all right so this is the gear i'm also packing everything i'm gonna need when it comes to gear this is where the gopro is batteries sd cards white balance um an anti filter that is going to be super helpful this one is not really good but well it's good enough i have a uh, 50 mil that i'm going to be using for portraits and stuff like that battery gopro accessories and uh this is where the camera is gonna go same i'm using right now and um that's pretty pretty basic you know that's all the stuff. Here's where the essentials they are gonna that you just saw. Let's put it here. So this is gonna go here. And it fits perfectly. If you wanna know guys, if you also wanna know exactly what's the, the stuff that I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna put all the links down below about the bag that I'm gonna be using, about the gimbal, about the camera, about the stuff that I'm gonna be putting in, the accessories, everything is gonna be down below just in case you want to check them out. Oh, you want to purchase any of that which is going to be helping a lot because sometimes you don't even know what what you're going to be doing i just wanted to share with you oh some great tip that i want to give you is that always have a b cam this one is a point and shoot camera it's a canon let me show you this one is a point and shoot camera as you can tell nothing crazy this one was a get from one of you wow my good friend glenn and he gave me this on kayo coco the time that we went there but um it's really good for, you know, just in case something happens, you have a plan B. Another stuff that you will never should forget, guys, is getting the money. Now, the money, the currency, all this stuff are going to be in another video that I'm going to be helping you again how to plan your trip to Cuba in 2023, which I think is going to be helping a lot because in Cuba, everything is changing all the time. So that's it. Uh, I'm going to finish packing here everything and then we're going to train you that. So see you in the next video. Ciao, Picado with them. Picado, puppy. Ciao.